Longtime Cleveland radio personality Mike Trivisano has voiced his last show. The legendary WTAM host died unexpectedly today at the age of 74. He'd been on Cleveland Airwaves for 35 years. News 5's Delon Dillard in the newsroom for us tonight. Delon Triv's impact felt well beyond the radio station. Sure is, Rob. His co-workers said just this morning Tripp was focused on uh, working and giving back to his community, as he always does. Thoughts are pouring in across the state, including from Governor DeWine, who tweeted Triv was a man who asked tough questions, but also had a big heart. The Mike Trivisano Show on News Radio WTAM 1100. Inside WTAM Studios, the room is full, but a feeling of emptiness still looms for these colleagues. Very sad to say that Mike Trivisano passed away today at the age of 74. You're just joining us. Triv, or Mr. Know It All, as some called him, had been a radio host since 1986. Just hours after learning of Triv's death Thursday evening, his colleagues reminisced. You talk about a man who was at absolutely brilliant. A man who was a, oh, yeah. a tremendous forward thinker. I mean, he saw things, you know, well ahead of Seth and I and really anybody else in this building. Among his slew of local accolades, the Cleveland Plain Dealer naming him the voice of Cleveland and Cleveland Mag named him one of the city's most interesting people. Trip did so much for Coats for Kids and raised millions of dollars for them. Hanging there, Ray. He wasn't just a radio host. He was a philanthropist. WTAM tells News 5 Triv raised over $5 million for local charities, including Coats for Kids. He certainly bothered some folks. He certainly said things that not everybody liked, and he didn't always agree with him. But the points were so precise and so sharp, even though they were in bite-sized, digestible nuggets. Loved him or not, this former News 5 reporter will tell you, folks still tuned in. I'd go on the show, and the next day, I'd hear somebody say, hey, I heard you on Trevisano. I never listened to him. I don't like that guy. <laughs> well, you must have listened because you heard me yesterday. He'll forever be known as a legendary radio host in Northeast Ohio. And Colts for Kids sharing this statement here with us tonight, saying Colts for Kids is heartbroken. He was a hero to us and most importantly to countless Northeast Ohio children who he helped get warm coats over the years. Tripp's dedication was the driving force behind raising hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our hearts and prayers go out to his family. Rob.